I was looking in the mirror and I noticed a swelling. I went to a specialist at UCSD. And they also noticed that I had a lump underneath my tongue. After they removed it, they noticed it was cancerous. It was fortuitous that because of the swelling, which was unrelated to the cancer, that they also detected that I had cancer underneath my tongue. We do recommend that a patient see their dentist on a regular basis, and your dentist should be doing a thorough oral cavity exam, and that is probably the best screening test that we have for cancers of the head and neck. When we think about head and neck cancers, we're really including any tumor that occurs essentially above the clavicles, but not including the brain. So most of these tumors we call squamous cell carcinomas. They arise from the lining of the mouth or the throat, what we call the upper air digestive tract. So anywhere from the lips until the larynx or the voice box. We're seeing many people who have never smoked, never uh, really consumed alcohol in large quantities uh, that may still be at, at risk for cancers of the head and neck. I underwent surgery to remove the lymph nodes in my neck. When they determined that the lymph nodes were not infected with cancer, they recommended a plan of radiation to guarantee that there would be no longer any cancerous cells remaining. For the cheek, because it wasn't cancerous, I underwent sclerotherapy, which basically burned down the blood vessels in my cheek so the swelling would be reduced. We treat surgically using techniques through the mouth that are able to preserve patients' functions. So a transoral robotic surgery for oropharynx cancers and cancers of the base and tongue and tonsil. Also for skull-based tumors, we can access patients and remove their tumors through their nose or through other natural openings. This not only allows for better cosmetic result, but often results in better functional results and actually in some cases even better cures for our patient. I've been cancer-free since July of 2013. I had some side effects from the surgery and radiation. I lost a little bit of mobility in my neck and left arm because of selective neck dissection because the nerves were damaged or moved in the surgery and also the surgery itself just caused my neck to be a little bit tighter. After radiation my taste buds change a little bit. For instance everything has a sweeter taste and my coffee no longer needs sugar. I drink my coffee black sometimes with cream. We're doing better and better with head and neck cancers. We're getting, uh, we're curing people more often, and we're uh, getting them back to a normal life more quickly and at, at a much better rate and with higher quality of life. I would say my life is pretty much back to normal. I still have to do my exercises for th physical therapy in my neck, but I do run a mile every day, and I'm working and able to raise my family. Every few months I see Dr. Coffee, check if there's been any recurrence, and so far, none.